Hello everyone, it's Akiana again. Today I'm going to be showing you a short video of my most favorite and my most essential brushes that I use in all of my paintings. First, I'm going to be showing you my favorites, which I like to call my micro and hair brushes. What this short hair brush allows me to do is to create lots of micro details, which to me is super, super essential. And this long hair brush, what this allows me to do is to create thousands upon thousands of hairs, which in the end I absolutely need because almost all the time uh, I would need to get a new pair of micro hair brushes for every painting because of all the vigorous techniques that I use. And, but what this allows me to do is to create and have a durable, uh, smooth, and very long-lasting effect. So I highly recommend this when you're doing hair techniques. Next, I'm going to show you is what it looks like a paintbrush, but uh, this actually is a makeup brush that I came across. I just fell in love with it. I love the, the short hair and it has like that round effect on the tip and it's stiff. It's a little bit stiff, which allows me to do crazy awesome uh, blending effects. And I love blending, especially this works on the face, oddly. <laughs> and all the, you know, the fingers, the, the toes, the, the, just anything you think of, this one, this brush, does a trick. And I love this, and this is literally my favorite brush. I don't want to give this to anyone. <laughs> this next brush I'm talking about has a semi-circular tip to it, and it's a larger one-inch brush, and it has a stiff, somewhat of a stiff ending to it. What this allows me to do is to create uh, nice blending styles in the background. Or when I do faces, large faces, I would blend the cheeks with this. And this really does the trick because of all the um, movements that I use and all the pouncing on the canvas that I use. This keeps up with me. This does the trick a lot. So I highly recommend this when you're doing blending techniques. Last but not least is my favorite Da Vinci flathead brush. What this allows me to do, it's a very, as you can see, it's a very smooth tip to it. What this allows me to do is to create nice, smooth backgrounds with no brush strokes, and I do layering upon layering with this. This is super uh, beautiful to, to even work with because it feels like you're dancing with the paints and the you know the brush itself feels like you're having so much fun and it's very lightweight so I highly recommend this when you're doing the backgrounds and what I found this also does a almost like a veil effect so if you put like a watery mixture and you cover over a layer this almost has like that screen which I love doing I love experimenting with different brushes and uh, each time when I go to the store to buy new brushes, because uh, every painting that I do, usually all the brushes that I have, the hairs would fall out because of my <laughs> vigorous techniques and intense brush strokes. But when I do um, you know, buy purchase new brushes, I find myself not looking at the brand or the price. I would close my eyes and visualize the painting that I'm going to be working on and I'm go, I will go and, and touch the tops of almost all the brushes and I would try to visualize that brush working with that painting and by doing that it gives me an, the idea of what to buy. I do notice that if you incorporate the right brushes for the painting, it will come alive. And I think that is the most beautiful part of painting, when you just see it day after day and you see the subject that you're painting start coming alive with the beautiful blending techniques and the micro techniques, the veils, everything you think of, you would see it start coming alive. And as an artist, I think that's nothing more rewarding to see 
your painting full of colors, full of details, slowly coming alive. So anyways, in my next video, I'm showing all of my essential paints that I use every single painting for the past, I would say, 15 years, and I haven't changed it. And I will be showing you a quick look into my, my collection. So until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>